How do you cope at your interview when you were asked, why did you leave your last job? Hi, I'm Nigel Gordon-Johnson, the career strategist and talent acquisition specialist. And today I'm going to show you how to cope with one of the toughest job interview questions. Why did you leave your last job? You're going to be asked this one way or another. If you're still working, then they will likely ask it of an older job, or they may well ask why you want to leave your existing job. In the challenging times that we live in now, with the COVID pandemic, the reason why you left your job may be fairly obvious. But don't be fooled into thinking you can just answer this question by simply saying, it's COVID. The first question to answer though, is why the interviewer is asking you this. What is their motivation behind this simple question? Firstly, they want to understand what makes you tick, and more interestingly, what doesn't. It's human nature to assume the worst, so a part of their brain will be thinking that you were fired, had a fight with your manager, didn't sell anything, or even crashed the entire IT network. It's unlikely that many of those are true, but it's important to remember one thing here. Be honest. As soon as you start to make it up, it will become glaringly obvious. You will give it away, not only by how you say it, but also in your body language. Interviewers are more intuitive than you think, especially as they will be looking for any sign of deception. The slightest hint in your facial expression, a tilt of the head in the wrong way, a hand gesture or leg movement will be all the giveaway that the interviewer needs to ruin your chances of success. But what do you do if you were fired from your last role? Explain that it didn't work out and that the priorities of the last role and the business didn't align with your own career aspirations. As a result, you mutually decided that it was the right time for a new challenge for yourself. Explain what the key learns that you made from that experience are, how you have adapted since then, whether it's additional education, timekeeping, or the importance of selecting a role or company that you are passionate about and where you can add great value whilst developing your career. It's important to take ownership of the failures in life and demonstrate where you have learned and changes you have made. Almost all interviewers will accept that there is no such thing as a perfect candidate. And often when the candidate looks too good to be true, well, they invariably are. Failure in life and your career is where we learn, where we adapt and improve. All the great teams, inventors, entrepreneurs will tell you that they learned a thousand times more from their failures than they ever did from their successes. How you present this in your interview is key. Run through each of your roles and note down why you left. Be honest with yourself. What are the areas that you learned from them? And if you didn't, think of where you can learn. Run through the changes that you have made since you left that business and list the new skills you have acquired. Now collate your answers for each role, edit them and put them into a more understandable script. You need to give succinct answers to each of the roles that you are asked to explain. I would suggest here that you do not want to be explaining for more than 15 to 20 seconds maximum. Any more than that, and you will look like you're overcompensating for an issue and the alarm bells will start ringing. Similarly, you don't want to be too brief. Saying it just didn't work out so I left and you have immediately failed the interview. Your aim here is to show honesty, integrity, humility and an ability to adapt and learn. The interviewer should feel a warm reaction to your answer, one that makes sense to them rather than requiring an intense investigation into what you just announced. Whatever you do though, do not feel tempted to badmouth your former boss, company or work colleagues. This will never end well. Even if you did work for the boss from hell, adapt the skills that you are learning and see how you can put a positive spin on that and how you learned going forward. Here are the key points to remember. Be honest and truthful in your answers. Keep a positive spin on events. Be succinct. Try and keep your answers below 20 seconds. Demonstrate the key learns that you have made. 
and take ownership for your failings and how you have adapted since then. Here are the areas to avoid. Don't lie. You will get found out. Don't badmouth your former boss, company or colleagues. Don't speak for too long. Don't over talk or you're over and out. No monosyllabic answers. And above all, don't complain about the money you earned or the hours you had to work. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. For a free copy of my latest book, Find a Job in a Pandemic, please click the link in the comments and get instant access. If you enjoyed this video, then please do hit the like button and click to subscribe for more content about securing a job, performing at interview and negotiating your salary.